I've always wanted to direct. I've always felt that it would be a natural progression, I guess, being in front of the camera for so many years and, and loving the medium and loving film and television. Johan generally directs anyway, like he, he's almost the showrunner of the show. Because of my experience as an actor, it was a natural progression for the producers to let me have a go at directing. We've got him directing episode two, and he's able to do that because he's got enough prep time. He was really brilliant. He had a really good attitude coming into it, and we did promise to treat him as a crew member. He was like, I just want to be part of the crew, and I think he really embraced that experience. I was shadowed by Tony Tilts, who's one of my favourite directors. So he was by my side the entire time. It was interesting to see it's a goal of mine one day to end up directing. So to see the kind of jumping in and out is always fascinating. The joy for his craft is very clear, and that comes through whether he's directing or acting. How long have you been a pathologist, Dr. Fairley? 23 years. And how long have you been examining the dead, Dr. Harrow? 23 years. And in all this time, have either of you ever admitted a live person into the morgue? Once. No. I'm very proud of him. He's really done an excellent job and he did love it. I mean, that was the wonderful thing. He was fantastic. You know, I think if you've been an actor, you kind of understand the scenes and he's the lead of the show. He knows this show inside and out. He wasn't bleeding internally, was he? No, he'd been drinking it. I think he really enjoyed it and it was a really positive outcome as well. The episode turned out brilliantly.